expand your network. No man is an island, especially if you're starting out. Make sure that you expand your network. It's one of the best ways to get new opportunities, get to know people, expand your network, have more friends and colleagues in different industries. It's going to help you in every area of your life. Now, in the past, I've gotten new jobs through my sports team. I was playing volleyball in Australia and often I got jobs from people that I met there because they knew my qualities, my qualifications, and I was like, hey, can you work here and here because I have a job for you. Another way of getting a job is through my housemates. In the past, you know, I had housemates and I got jobs from them. So make sure you connect with people. If you live with your parents, obviously, you know, that's not a way. But if you live in like a shared house, connect with them. It's a great way to expand your network. I've also gotten jobs to people I met at university or at seminars or events. Even a person I met on the plane and got in a conversation with. Another, <laughs> this is a funny one. I even got a job sleeping with someone. Now I wouldn't recommend this, but you know, it, <laughs> it, it can be a way of, you know, getting your foot in the door, especially when you move to a new city. Another job that I've gotten was through competition. So in Thailand, I was, um, I was a judge on a talent competition and I got a job through that of the people that I met who are also in the jury that wanted me to teach for their company and for their schools. So make sure you think about like, how can you expand your network? Another important thing with that is to stay in touch with valuable people. I don't say expand your network just with anyone. You have to qualify the people as well. Like, are they in a position where you want to be? Can they add value? And can you add value to them? If the answer is no, you know, just keep it superficial and don't expand your network with them. But if the answer is yes, make sure you stay in touch with them. The second thing that you must do is to go to meetup groups. Go to meetup.com and look for groups in your area. And if, if there's no group, you might even start a group of your own, like, you know, accountants in London or in Thailand. When I moved to Thailand, there wasn't any meetup group that I liked. So I created the Bangkok Freedom Mastermind to help people who also are committed to creating more freedom in their life. That's a group that I developed and I'm still friends with many of those people who you know, we had a beneficial relationship with that we both added value to each other. Another thing you must do is to be a good listener and a connector. And I'm still learning about this too. Like we all want to boast about how great we are and experiences that we have, but it also pays to listen to others, like ask them questions, show interest, and don't just talk about yourself, just, you know, listen better. Another thing to do is the opposite of what your parents told you. You know, parents tell you, don't talk to strangers, but I want you to talk to strangers. When you sit on the bus to someone that looks interesting, like make a comment. Like this morning, actually, I ran 30 kilometers. And what I usually do after long runs, I buy bags of ice. So I was in the grocery store and this lady started talking with me like, why do you have so much ice? Like she thought I was going to party or something. So I explained like, oh, the ice is for an ice bar because it takes away the information. And we instantly got a connection, you know. This will also help you to become a better communicator, to tell your story and also to listen to other people's stories. Of course, we didn't keep in touch. I didn't ask her phone number, but it really helps me to explain like, oh, this is, this is why I got it. And, you know, we have a little bit of a laugh there. Another thing to do to expand your network is to add recruiters on LinkedIn. Often recruiters, they have the best jobs available. And if you can connect with a couple of them, send them a, a thank you note, like, hey, great to connect with you. You'll be surprised how much wonders it will do for your career, just knowing these people. And the last one is a bit of a joke. Make sure you sleep with more people. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's just a joke. So here are your questions for today. Number one, take inventory of your network. Who can you connect more with? 
Number two, what events can you attend to meet and connect with quality people? And your bonus question number three, add 10 recruiters in your area and your industry on LinkedIn and send them a personal message to connect with them. Because it's one thing to add people to your network. If you just add random recruiters on LinkedIn and you don't follow up, like what's the point? Add them to your LinkedIn, send them a message and stay in touch. Like I still have many recruiters on my profile and you know, I always think, how can I add value? So if I see them advertising a position, I think like who in my network can, um, can help to fill that position. So I connect them and you know, even if they didn't get it, the recruiter knows like, Hey, this person wants to add value. So if I see a position that's suitable for him, of course, it's going to be top of my mind. Uh, to connect and ask that person to apply for that position.